Hello class, uh, welcome to my channel. So our topic in this video is about constructing a truth table. So a truth table shows all possible combinations of truth values for component statements. So uh, the truth value of compound proposition is completely determined by the truth values of its sub-propositions. It uses logical connectives to form the compound propositions. So here are the logical connectives and symbols. For the statement not P, the connective is the word not and we will use this uh, symbol and this type of statement is called negation. For the statement P and Q, the connective is the word end and in symbol we will use the uh, arrow up and this type of statement is called conjunction. Then for the word or for the statement P or Q, the connective is or. Then for or, we will use the symbol arrow down. Then this type of statement is called disjunction. Then for if, if P, then Q statement, the connective is the word if, then. Then in symbol, we will use P, then yung arrow, uh, arrow right. Q, then this type of statement is called conditional statement. For the statement P, if and only if Q, the connective is the words if and only if. Then in symbols, we will use the left arrow and the right arrow. So this type of statement is called biconditional. So let's have the negation. The negation proposition of the statement not P is denoted by this symbol which implies the opposite of the truth value of the statement. So say for example, your, your statement P is true, then the negation P is false. If your negation P is false, then your not P is true. Next is for the conjunction. The conjunction proposition of the compound statement P and Q is a compound proposition denoted by this symbol. So the conjunction operation tells that if the two statements are true, then it is true. But if one of the statements is false, then it is false. So as you notice in this table, if the two statements are true, the, the the conjunction is also true. Then if one of the statements is false, then the conjunction is false. Next, the disjunction proposition of the compound statement P or Q is a compound prop proposition denoted by this symbol, which implies either or or. So, the disjunction operation tells that if the two statements are false, then it is false. But if one of the statement is true, then it is true. Okay? So next is conditional proposition. So this symbol represents the conditional proposition if P then Q. Or pwede rin namang P implies Q. So dito, as you notice in the table, ang only false lang na statements dito is yung may combination na true, false statement. If P is true and yung Q is false, then the conditional proposition is false. Then the rest are true. Next is the biconditional proposition. So this symbol represents uh, biconditional propositions, which means P if and only if Q. So dito, in the table, as you notice, the biconditional propositions are true if P and Q have the same truth value. Kung yung P is true and yung Q is true, then the biconditional proposition is true. Okay? Then kung parehas namang false, 
the biconditional proposition is also true. Then the rest are false. Next, we have the word tautology, contradiction, and contingency. So a compound proposition that is always true is called tautology. The truth table for a truth for a tautology has t in every row. So yung kung yung last column natin is for true, so which means yung ating truth table is a tautology. Next is contradiction. A proposition that is always false is called a contradiction. So the truth table for a contradiction has f in every row doon sa ating last column. Okay? Then if the last column contains both true or false, therefore the compound proposition is a contingency. Okay? So let's have now example number 1. So here you will construct a truth table and determine whether each compound proposition is a tautology, contradiction, or contingency. So let's have example number 1. So here class, as you notice, uh, we only have two statements, P and yung ating Q. Okay? So our first step is to write all the possible combinations ng truth value ni P and Q. So normally, ang ginagamit natin for P, ang first two rows niya ay true, then the last two rows ay false. For Q naman, the first two, uh, the first row is true, then next is false, then true again, then the last row is false. So ganyan lagi yung ating first step. So so normally ito na yung uh, yung laging ginagamit na combinations no or yung pattern. Okay? Next is do sa may given naman as you notice we have three um operators. The first operator is the conjunction. The second operation dito is yung ating negation. Then the last operation natin or operator is yung ating conditional proposition. Okay? So, ang next move natin dito is uunahin natin gawin yung truth value nung nasa parenthesis. Which is the if P then Q. Okay? So, kung tandaan nyo pa kanina, in conditional proposition, magiging false lang yung ating truth value ng conditional proposition kapag ka ang combination ay true then false. Okay? Ang outcome niyan is false. Then the rest are true. Okay? So, try natin. So, here, we have true, then true. So, the conditional proposition is true. Next, we have true, then false. So, this is false. Okay? Then, we have false, true. So, the conditional proposition is true. Next, we have false, false, so this is also true. Okay? So, next natin dyan is yung ating, kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong negation ng ating nakaparentesis. So, meaning, in-negate natin yung ating conditional statement if P, then Q. Sa negation, ang gagawin lang natin is papalitan natin yung truth value ng ating statements. Okay? So, dito, if we have true, so therefore, ang kanyang negation is false. Then, kung meron tayong false, so this is now true. Then, the last columns are also false. Okay? So, papalitan lang natin yung truth value from true to false. Then, yung false naman magiging true. Okay? So, next is, kung mapansin nyo, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating conjunction dahil buo na yung part na ito. Okay? So, our, our conjunction is Q, Q, and not P, then Q. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-importanting -important, part. So, in this case, 
Dito na lang tayo titingin sa ating second column at saka fourth column. Then kung, na, kung natandaan nyo kanina, si conjunction ay magiging true basta meron siyang true sa kanyang statement. Ah, magiging false basta meron siyang false sa kanyang statements. Okay? So, check natin. So, we have true, then false. So, our conjunction is false. Then, we have false, then true. So, conjunction is also false. Next, we have true, then false. So, this is false. Then, false, then false. So, our conjunction is false. Okay? So, as you notice, the last column contains Fs or lahat sila false. So, therefore, this compound proposition is a contradiction. Okay? Example number 2. So, here, uh, we have two statements which is P and Q. So, again, so, following the same procedure, we have, for P, we have true, true, false, false. Then, for Q naman, we have true, false, true, false. Yan na yung laging ating ano, uh, pattern sa paggawa ng first two columns. Okay? Then, checking the given, as you notice, uh, we have two operators. Meron ulit tayo ditong disjunction. Then, meron tayong two conditional statements. Okay? So, unahin muna natin yung mga nasa parenthesis. So, the first is yung if P, then Q. So, again, sa if P, then Q, magiging false lang siya kapag ka ang combination ay true, then false. Okay? So, for the first statement, we have true, true. So, Therefore, ito ay true. Next, we have true, false. So, this is false. Then, false, true. We have true. Then, false, false. We have true. Okay? Next is yung next parenthesis naman natin, which is if Q, then P. So, dito, pag nag-check tayo ng truth value, ang tingin natin is backward or Pabaliktad. Okay? So, ang una nyong babasahin dito is yung Q, then P. So, again, again, tandaan, magiging false lang ang ating conditional statement kapag ka ang ating combination ay true, false. So, try natin. So, we have true, true. So, this is true. Next, false, true. So, this is true. Next, true, then false. So, our conditional proposition is false. Then false, false. So, this is also false. Ah, sorry. This is true. Okay? So, last one. After yung magawa yung, two paren yung nasa two parentheses, pwede na natin i-apply si disjunction. Okay? So, sabi dyan, if P, then Q. Or, if Q, then P. So, check natin yung kanyang truth value. So, in this case, dito na lang tayo titingin sa last two columns. Okay? So, dito at saka dito. So, as you notice, pagka sinabing disjunction, the statement is true kapag merong true sa isang statement. Okay, so dito we have true, then true, so this is true. Next, we have false, true, so this is true. Then true, false, this is true. Then true, true, true. Okay, so as you notice, our last column is puro T, so which means our compound proposition is a tautology. Okay? So, yan. So, if you have 
uh, a question guys, uh, paki-comment na lang din sa may comment section below. Okay? Then kung wala na kayong questions, uh, pwede niyo nang sagutan yung ating activity. So, yun lang. Thank you.